Welcome to Hashtag Goals The Show. I am your host, Michelle Moses, and with me here today is the fabulous and gorgeous and talented Leva Abramson. Hang on. I'll keep going, girl. <laughs> it's like, pretend stop. Like, don't Right, like, just know? keep going. Like, oh my god, I'm blushing. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Paint Night is a really fun social event where you and your friends learn how to do a painting step by step with an instructor like Leba. So be sure to book her today. Um, we want to talk about your art, your paintings, your Paint Night, but before we get into that, I just want to talk about how have you been feeling? How are you doing? Large. <laughs> Rather large. You look really good. Yeah, I'm in my last trimester, so. Wow. It's like when you climb a hill, and like in the beginning you're like, I could do this, and then at the end of the hill, you're like, should I just go back down because I can't do this? <laughs> That's like the ending. <laughs> you just gotta make it through to the end at this point. Yeah. Are you still doing your paint nights while pregnant? Yes. I probably won't be booking like the month I'm due. Right. Just because like it would be really weird if my water broke. Like, so like call night. her now. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. Yeah. I paint pregnant. It's, it's fine. <laughs> We're good to go, guys. I just want to open with a game called Cravings, or That's Just Me where I'm going to mention a food and you'll tell me if it's something you usually eat. Do you eat. have it in your fridge? Can we eat it? <laughs> We're going to eat like right after. We're going to just pig out. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. She right. said cravings and I was like, cool, chocolate. Like, where is it? Ice cream. Always. I mean, winter, summer, fall, spring. If I'm on the moon, they better have an ice cream store. <laughs> Donuts. <sighs> yeah, like always. You know. Chips. Craving. Chocolate. Also craving. Candy bars. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, Chocolate and candy the same bars, yeah. category. Soda. Definitely not even a crave. Like, I don't like soda. Okay. Actually, no. Craving. Like once in a while, I'll be like, I need ginger ale. Cake. Like my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Guacamole. I don't eat that most of the time. Okay. Like avocado. Yeah. Cereal. Also year round. Cereal's good. So that's just you. All Thanks right. for playing Cravings or That's Just Me. Um, at what point did you decide that you want to paint? When I found a paintbrush when I was two. Awesome. No, literally since I'm a, like, I think I was probably born being like, we're going to have to redo that wall right there. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's just in my blood. Like, I love art since and I'm little. When, when did it become a career for you? At what point did you decide this is what I'm doing the rest of my life? <sighs> that's a good question. Um, when my husband really pushed me to go to school without like a real goal in mind right. he's like just go take classes at the community college like that's just great go. that you have that support he's the best shout out if you're watching <laughs> of course you're watching oh you better be watching Duh. do your kids ever watch you paint are they inspired by it oh my god yes my daughter is like convinced she is the next ah, that's i don't so know cute. monet <laughs> yeah she loves art i think art is so important like Adults tend to get more like I'm not an artist. Like they label. Right. Kids are just expressive. We paint together all the time. Sundays. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Wash them. That's amazing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do um, with my son. He's two, and I get those invisible paints that only show up on paper. That is so, so cool. Yeah, if it spills, it doesn't make a mess. It doesn't stain. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> the mess factor is always like. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna clean this up? Obviously not me. A beauty blender wants to know. How did you get into fashion modeling? Where did you get your confidence from? My modeling, fashion, vlogging thing started totally by accident. Actually, it's a really funny story. When I, before I started school, I've always liked fashion too. To me, it's all one and the same. Makeup, art, fashion, anything that's just like expressive and color and fun, you know? I worked in this little boutique in Muncie for like a year, two years, and then I left. My daughter was like two or three and I was pregnant with my son. Right. We've come full circle. Yeah. <laughs> and I, wait, no, this is very funny. This is literally what happened. I went back to the store to just try on some stuff, like, hints for all of you, you don't have to buy maternity stuff. This is not. <laughs> you buy tops that just stretch, like, you know. Yeah. I went back and I was trying on a bunch of stuff, and I was friends with all the staff and the people who worked there, and they were, like, just snapping pictures on, like, a phone. Right. And they posted it to their page, and I was pregnant like this, and I was like, oh, like, me, <laughs> me, you know. <laughs> and, like, it got, like, a lot of... I don't know, attention on social media, like, which I cool. guess. And that, it kind of just, social media is word of mouth. Like, someone sees it and they're like, oh, this girl did for that boutique. And it right. very slowly, it's just like my name got out there that, like, if you have clothing that you want me to wear and be, like, awesome <laughs> in front of the camera, like, I will do that for you. 
modeling has been a ton of fun. Like I've like it's it's tons of fun. As long as people still want me to be in their shoots, like I'll do it. You Have know? you ever had a situation where it wasn't fun? Um. Well, you like know, a really challenging client. Uh, below zero weather. When they're yeah. like, do you like just like take off the leggings? Like. We'll just have like you wear a short <laughs> like skirt and I'm like if I die tell my family I love them. And then I branched out. I do a lot of wig shoots which are so fun. I know this is my real hair but like, <laughs> right. you, know, like you know and then makeup or even just like lifestyle photography just I don't know it's it's tons of fun. It really it's awesome. It looks like fun. You always it look is. really into it. Your shoots are so professional. It's a little bit like acting like you take on this persona like. Speaking of acting I know that you have this other life dream career of being a Hollywood actor. Oh, girl. <laughs> girl, bye. <laughs> I think you'd be really good at it. So I wanted to put your acting skills to the test with right. a couple of random scenes that we'll be reenacting of Days of Our Lives. Meryl Streep, step aside. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of, many actors will get their big break by doing soap operas first. Right, okay. So you gotta start somewhere, so uh, let's do it. Let's be soap opera-y. Cue dramatic music. I'm doing the same thing you were doing. I heard that Stefano might be alive, and I'm hunting him down. Well, you stink at it. Do you know that you almost killed John's son? Brady? Brady's here? No, no, Paul. He doesn't have a son, Paul. Well, actually, he... Well, that... Never mind. What made you think you would find Stefano here? He told me what you were up to. And I love <laughs> you! Okay, Hollywood, <laughs> going. See you later. So let's talk about your art again. Okay, so a paint night, it's it's tons of fun. I've done so many and they're they're really a ton of fun. The idea is it's a party, right? So I bring my supplies, my all my And it could shebang. be any kind of party. It could be a bat mitzvah, yeah, bat mitzvah, yeah, a just a family party. gathering, a bunch of women who want a night away from their kids. Right. Wine <laughs> and dine and you know, paint. So it, the the whole idea is that people who not who don't ever necessarily paint or have never painted or people who have and don't have the time for it. We get together, I bring all my stuff, we set up, and make like a nice simple one hour painting. Usually I let my client pick, and anyone, anyone can do it. Any age, any stage. I've literally done families where there's kids and grandparents, right. or just a That's bunch awesome. of teenagers. It's tons of fun. I've actually been to one of Liba's paint nights. That's where we actually blast. met. Like yeah. We knew each other from Facebook, but we actually and we, met. We, we yeah. got a chance to meet in person, and she was like fan from the start, but she's just <laughs> awesome. Um, and I'm really not a painter, although I have an art background, I'm not a painter, but it was so easy to you follow step You made a really nice painting. Step. Also, you put her an artist, so like, and you guys should just hire me for your next event. That's sure. right. <laughs> she's really good. It's I, great. I want to talk about your art career. Um, your independent art career, the paintings okay. that you do on the side. Um, is this something that you'd like to do full time? Have your work in a gallery? Okay, yes, most definitely yes. I'm studying to be an art therapist, which is like where I'm gonna probably make my money and like heal the world, you know? Sounds good. I, I'm, yeah, it's, it's tons of hard work in school and whatever, but I'm loving it. Art therapy is, you know, basically like talk therapy, but you work with your clients with art. Yeah. And then aside from that, for my own self, my own soul, I just have this need to paint, to express, to create. I have endless ideas and just not the right amount of time. I can show you guys some of my paintings too. She's Ooh, just like... that's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm working on like a series of women with like flowers. I have something female, I don't know, feminine. It's just so pretty. Like, Do people ever tell you that you kind of look like your artwork? Everyone tells me and I don't, I don't do it on purpose. I guess there's like a part of you that like goes into your work. It's familiar, yeah. It's so interesting. This is what I'm working on. It's not done yet. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I just love to paint portraits. I'll tell you, it's a challenge. Getting skin tones right, Yeah. stuff like that, it's like... What medium do you work with? Mostly acrylic. I'll show you one more. Like I did that in oh, class. Beautiful. Her colorful hair, her, her, I don't know, the way she's just... She's like our soul sister right oh, there. Oh, like is she <laughs> like not me in another world? So your Insta stories never cease to entertain us <laughs> from family life to school life. Um, I'm going to mention some scenarios that we've seen in your Insta stories over oh time. <laughs> Hashtag stalker. Um, Girl, you worry. are going to answer totes or heck no to the following situations if you agree or disagree with it. Like, does it speak to you or not? Okay. All right. 
So totes or heck no? Totes or heck no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, tagging friends on Instagram to win contests. I have to be honest. Like heck no. I don't do the whole Instagram contest thing. <laughs> A sister. Because I never win. <laughs> like whatever. Bye. I'll go buy. I actually now. won once. I did. It's I won a lot of time and effort and energy, and then it's like, mm, I didn't even get the free yeah. lipstick kit. Bye. <laughs> like, I'll go buy it. <laughs> a sister borrowing clothes without asking. Heck no. And any of my sisters watching better return all that shit as they bought from me. <laughs> yeah, no. Celebrity stalking on social media. What else do you do to fall asleep at night? Um, heck yes, totes. Yeah. Totes. <laughs> <laughs> Eating breakfast for dinner. Breakfast is my favorite food. So like, yes, so I don't know. I feel like you know me so well. Totes. I stop yes, you. Totes. Totally. But I will eat a bagel for an eggs, like for every meal. Yeah. Oh my god, totally. <laughs> I had one this morning. <laughs> Sleeping in class. Totes. Writing a paper the day before it's due. Ever. Totes. <clears throat> Eating dessert before a meal. Dessert is the meal. We totes. just discussed yeah. <laughs> Ditching class to go shopping. Oh, I have so done that. <laughs> Going vegan. I've totes tried, and then it was like a hamburger. I'm just too committed to like barbecues, you know? I hear you, girl. Hope Being you. called leaves. Totes. That's like my second name. I know, I call yeah. you that sometimes. Just a friendly reminder, if you want to follow Liba, you can follow her at Lea on Instagram to follow her fashion career. And if you'd like to book Liba for your next paint night event... Do it. Yes, go to <laughs> at Art and Soul by Liba to see past event samples, and you can also be in touch with Liba through there to book your next paint night. So be sure to do it. She's so good. You're so, so We're good. We're going to have a lot of fun. Whoever's watching, like... <laughs> How could you not? Look at her. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you agree that Liba is hashtag goals, then be sure to like this video with a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe for more episodes of Hashtag Goals The Show. <laughs>